I started streaming about five years ago, and I started speedrunning about four and a half. When I started streaming f about five years ago, I was Mario Maker streamer. Like most people, I was getting pretty good um, amount of viewers. I think I topped at like 40 to 60. And then speedrunning, I guess casual people are not as interested. But whatever. I was gonna do Mario Maker 2 as a comeback to my old days. But I found Mario Maker to be just frustrating. That's originally what the reason why I quit playing it. Well, I don't know. I was doing a lot of viewer levels. But it gets to a, it gets to a problem where everyone just gives you like really extremely unfun levels, and they just want to watch you like die. It's like the internet embodied into a video game, right? I guess the ironic part is that most Mario Maker streamers that got partnered in high numbers ended up falling apart due to its, I guess, waning popularity. This thing sucks. Although the update that came out today is really cool. I don't know. I was a little disappointed that Super Mario 2 was reduced to a mushroom in the Super Mario 1 style. But still all the all the power-ups and stuff they added today were like amazing. And I forgot the split. I tried fixing it, but I forgot my shortcut for skipping splits. in between levels. What's up, dude?
max pain. Isn't it like 20 minutes for the speedrun? It goes well. Yesterday we reached a sub goal of 15 subs. We're at 16 subs. The goal was to play Sonic Spinball all the way to its end. Within five runs. Okay. Next sub goal is Ocarina of Time. I couldn't think of another bad game that was tolerable to play. Z3 did 100 subs. If you really need to see Bubsy 3D. <laughs> Recently on an Everdrive. Fuck. Alright. Alright. PAL version is faster. I remember there was like a posting like some glitches weren't working in their S Super Mario Brothers for NES. And they're like, are you running PAL? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be playing on PAL. Every ROM and ISO, imagine. I have an 8 terabyte hard drive, and like three weeks ago, I got the hookup. It took like a week and a half to get everything, but. I think it's like four or five terabytes, I think. Maybe. Might be more. PlayStation 1 was like one terabyte, or PlayStation 2, I can't remember. Or both. Well, my ISP was like, oh, since you're quarantined, we're gonna give you unlimited data because it's they have fucking data caps because they're assholes. So I was like, I was thinking about buying unlimited data from them for one month and doing it, but it kind of happened, and I was like, well, I just saved myself 50 bucks.
still. I was like, come on, man, I'm trying to do this fast. was going to get a VPN at some point. My new house in September is supposed to have fiber built into it. So I won't have to deal with any bullshit. Oh, fuck! Alright, so I messed up the quick strat. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going now. It Goes to show you that no matter how much I run Contra 3... Oh, I did destroy it. I destroyed it and I didn't... <sighs> so I fucked up even more. No matter what in Contra 3, if I'm like doing decent, I fuck up on something. <laughs> what a fucking waste of time. Fuck this game. I'll be getting fiber. It'll be cool. It'll be like ten dollars cheaper than what I'm paying now. It's a different company. It's CenturyLink. CenturyLink sucks in Nevada unless you have their fiber. Apparently that fiber is amazing. But anything else they have is trash. Decent run. This run is pretty much dead. <laughs> if I still live in that house after 15 years. I don't know, probably will. I don't like moving. I kind of want a house I want to stay in for a while. 15 to 20 years, unless I like. Who knows what the future is right now? So, like... The original goal was to super pay my mortgage extremely quickly and then just retire. But I don't know if I'll have my job when I go back to work. So. Too much shit is changing. move almost every year, bro. My property manager sucks so much that they haven't... My lease was up in March, so they didn't raise my rent, nor did they ask me to sign a new lease. So I'm just paying the same amount and still living it. cycle, that's good. Wow, there's a chance on my PV with that shitty level 5. This is nuts. <laughs> Alright, I PV. Fuck this game. <laughs> Well, the main issue with Vegas is that the cost of living, the, everyone was moving here, so rent was rising about $100 every year. So my old apartment on the southwest when I moved here was 
1200 1200 for a two bedroom when I lived there two years we I was able to force them to raise it fifty dollars because they're gonna raise it to 1300 on the second year when I moved out I think they were charging 1500 and it wasn't even a new apartment but they did remodel every like the office and all the and they were remodeling all the apartments that people were moving out. Super dodgeball. Why? Yeah. And then if you go a little bit south of where my apartment is, apartment two bedroom apartments are going for about fifteen to sixteen hundred. It's basically like lot not expensive California. <laughs> I was trying to word it properly. It's basically Fresno. <laughs> Fresno, California. Like our prices are around similar to Fresno. Is it the Neo Geo version? Or the uh NES version. Yeah, I mean it's like a six minute run. I'm gonna be very honest, I'm not a big fan of NES games. My Contra 3PB 